So, yes, yeah, my name's Carl. Uh, my show is with Carl Donnelly versus John Robbins versus Predator. Um, that, yeah, it's me and the guy called John Robbins who's got AIDS and uh, the Predator. Um, he hasn't got AIDS, but this is going out on the internet, so that's why I spread it. So, uh, yeah, I, uh, I live in Wimbledon, which is nice. Uh, but a lot, weird things happen in Wimbledon in the last couple of years. They've opened like two Subway sandwich shops 100 yards apart, which is weird. Give me a cheer if you've been to a Subway sandwich shop. Yeah. Alright, give me a cheer if you liked it. Exactly, right? Because here's the thing, give me a cheer if you think it shouldn't take three people to make you a fucking sandwich. <laughs> what are they? If you haven't been, go. Every time you order food, a relay race kicks off, right? Where one guy gets your bread of choice out, cuts it, and then thinks, I can't fucking carry on here. <laughs> I'll pass this to my mate. Um, <laughs> Pass it to a guy who puts your fillings of choice in, who again thinks, I think that'll do me, right? <laughs> then pass it to a final guy who wraps it up and charges you. Now, it ain't that hard to make a sandwich. I tend to manage pretty good making one at home on my own. I've never been halfway through making one, and suddenly thought, fuck, I need some backup here. <laughs> How does it work? They've got something in a job at me, like Steve, mate, your references check out. You seem like a nice guy, but I've got to ask you a big question. How's your career making sandwiches? <laughs> Seems like, alright, I'm gonna level with you. I'm working at that middle bit of the filling. <laughs> but I just can't crack that stuff bit with the bread. <laughs> like a hired me, Johnny can cut bread like a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a subway joke. Uh, you will hear that in the show again. Maybe enjoy it twice as much. Um, <laughs> What else will you hear? I, uh, I, this is something that happened to me recently, right? I'm a nice guy. I don't, do you know when somebody makes an honest mistake and you just think, I'll go with it rather than tell them they're an idiot, right? I, um, I, I got a voicemail from a friend, so I had to call them back, right? I accidentally called their work number. And, and a receptionist answered and said, hi. And I said, hi, uh, can I speak to so-and-so, please? They went, yeah, who's calling? I said, Carl Donnelly. They said, sorry, was that Kyle Bubbly? Right? <laughs> so I went, fucking right it is. That's the best name, That's the best name I've ever heard. I thought, I'll take it, right? <laughs> Alright, yes, I'm there. I think Carl Bubbly's in. Um, <laughs> so I went, yes, it's Carl Bubbly. They went to put me through to my mate, who then said, I don't know anyone called <laughs> Carl Bubbly. Get rid of him. So they got rid of me. I had to call up two minutes later with the same fucking voice, <laughs> saying, yes, yeah, so and so there, please. Yeah, who's calling? Carl Donnelly. <laughs> and he's getting a guy over red thinking, this is that Carl Bubbly guy. This is trying to pull. So, yeah. They're the two best jokes in the show, you don't need to see it now. Um, <laughs> it's fucking awesome jokes, uh, come and see it, and John's great, so um, enjoy the rest of your night, I mean, I'll see you around.